uh, hyperbolic surfaces in three manifolds. Okay, uh, thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the the the, the all the, the organizers for for this invitation. Uh, it's a it's a great pleasure to be here giving the, this talk in this event. Uh, okay, uh, in this talk, uh, I will explain some results. Uh, related to the following topics. I will be interested in rigidity uh, involving minimal surface and scalar curvature. Okay. If I'm not wrong, at the first time, uh, the first result relate, relating uh, the two, two things is, is a result due to Shen and Yao in 79, where they proved uh, using the, the stability inequality that uh, uh, the positive curvature of the ambient space uh, gives an obstruction on the topology of a minimal, a compact minimal surface. Uh, the, the minimal surface has to be a two sphere. Okay. Uh, to get this, uh, uh, they, they, uh, it, it, it follows uh, easily from the uh, stability inequality because when you you what our is, is a stable minimal surface is is a surface that has uh, no negative second derivative of the area for no all normal variation. Okay. Uh, minimal is a critical point, stable is, has second derivatives, no negative. Okay, okay then uh, uh, let me recall the, the stability inequality. If you have a surface and consider a normal variation given by a function, the stability inequality is given by uh, gradient squared of phi minus read curvature in the normal direction of the ambient space plus the second uh, fundamental form squared, phi squared. So this is non negative for all phi. Okay, choosing the, the, the function equal to one, they get the following inequality. Okay. Uh, and use the Gauss equation, uh, uh, Gauss Bonnet theorem. So uh, here, if the, 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 the scalar curvature of the ambient space is positive, then we can control the, the topology of the surface. Okay. Uh, these results play a fundamental role in, in, in the, the study of chain of the topology of three manifold of non-negative scalar curvature. So uh, now, if you if you assume just scalar curvature, no negative scalar curvature, then uh, the surface can be also a torus, but uh, only under special uh, conditions. Uh, in fact, as observed by fischer kobler uh, in this case, if you have a stable minimal two torus, then uh, you have this this, this, this rigidity over the surface, okay? Uh, this torus has to be uh, flat and totally geodesic, and the scalar curve of the ambient space and the root curve to in the normal direction ventured over the surface, <coughs> okay? Uh, observe that the, 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 this, this, this geometric data is, is the same as a, is the same data when you consider a standard cylinder of an interval by a, 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 a flat torus, okay? So uh, this means that over the, over, over the, the, the surface, the manifold is like a cylinder, okay? So, uh, because this result, uh, a natural question is the following conjecture, okay? If we impose 
uh, uh, the conjecture is, is the following. If the, the, the surface satisfies a, a stronger condition than stability, then in fact we have a splitting of the, the ambient space uh, in a neighborhood of the, the surface, okay? Uh, this conjecture w uh, was proved by Kate and Galloway in 2000. Uh, in fact, uh, it, it's a, a very beautiful proof, geometric proof. Okay, so, uh, motivated by this result, it's natural to, to ask about similar results, local rigidity results for, for, uh, for the case where the, the, the surface is a two-sphere and or an oriented compact surface of genus greater than one. So it, it, we look for splitting results for these two cases. In this case, the section is a, a sphere with curved one. And this, the last case is a cylinder with this is a hyperbolic surface. Okay. Uh, in fact, the result, the, the rigidity results uh, are true. Uh, the, the 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 case of the sphere was proved by Bray, Brandon, Neves. They proved that uh, if the ambient space has, uh, and note that this this example has scalar curvature equal to two, and this scalar curvature equal to minus two. Okay. And so the first result is this one, okay? If the ambient space has scalar curvature bounded below by, by two, then uh, if sigma is a locally area minimizing embedded two sphere, then the, the, the stability inequality gives you a, a lower bound, a, a upper bound for the, the area of the surface. Uh, the area is less than or equal to four pi. Inequality holds if and only if you have splitting, okay? Your surface has to be the, the round sphere, and locally the, the manifold is a cylinder. Okay. And the, the, the same result is the, the result that I I would like to, to explain the proof here in this talk. Okay, is the hyperbolic case. Uh, note the difference here. The because the, the lower bound for the the, the scalar curve to uh, instead of you, you uh, uh, so this is a, is a, is a, is a typo. Uh, in this case, we get that the, you get that the area of the surface is greater than or equal to four pi genus minus one, okay? So the equality holds if and only if you have a uh, splitting, okay? Okay, so let, let me explain the, the, this proof. Uh, Oh, before the proof, let me just observe that these two theorem, theorems uh, uh, use a different approach, similar but different approach. Uh, and after that, Michaela Fimoraro uh, gave a proof of these three, three theorems using a unified approach. Okay. And similar local split results are obtained, uh, approved by Ambrosio in SPINAR for error minimizing free boundary surface and weighted error minimizing surface. Okay, let me explain the proof. So consider a remaining three manifold with scalar curvature bounded by minus two. Inside it, uh, a surface of genus greater than one. So uh, the first obse uh, ob uh, uh, observation is the, the, the error estimate, the, uh, and this follows from the, the stability inequality uh, choosing the, the, the function equal to one, okay? So, now if the, if the, the, the equality uh, holds uh, in the stability inequality, you have equality with the function equal to one, okay? So, we get uh, infinitesimal rigidity over the sigma. Uh, your manifold is like a cylinder. Okay. Okay. So 
uh, uh, from now, uh, the strategy to, to get the rigidity is the following. We're gonna use the, the infinitesimal rigidity to do, to do the following. Here we have the surface, the surface sigma of genus uh, 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 greater than two. We, we know that the, the surface is a hyperbolic surface, and we know also that the Jacobi operator now is just the Laplacian. Okay, so using this, it's possible to construct uh, in a neighborhood of the surface a CMC's foliation a foliation here it will be the, the sigma zero CMC foliation, okay? Uh, given, for example, in this proposition. Uh, <coughs> this foliation uh, is constructed using the exponential map in the normal direction uh, together with the implicit, implicit function theorem, okay? Because we know that the Jacob operator is just the Laplacian. Okay, so you have the DCMC foliation uh, in a neighborhood of sigma our goal now is to prove uh, is to prove that along the, the dissoliation the the area cannot increase okay so if we, here we have the the uh, a locally area minimizing uh, surface so all the surface has area equal to the, the area of sigma, okay? This is our goal, okay? So let me explain how to prove this. To control the, the, the area along this family, uh, we have to look the first variation of the area, which gives by integral of sigma t of the mean curvature plus times uh, whole t where rho t is the velocity of the variation, okay? I recall that this mean curvature is constant over all, all the lines of the family. So here we have a mean curvature times integral of rho t sigma t, okay? Uh, uh, choosing, decreasing the, 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 the the size of the family, we can, we can also uh, uh, always suppose this, the, this integral is positive, so we have just to control the mean curvature along the, the, the family, okay? We have to prove that along this family, for example, for t greater than zero, the mean curvature is greater than zero, okay? So, uh, uh, if we prove this, we will get that the, the, the family not increase the area, okay? Okay, the proof of this proposition is by contradiction. Uh, suppose by contradiction that there is a sequence of, of epsilons uh, such that the mean curvature of the, along the, the, the sequence uh, in each slice is negative, okay? Suppose this, suppose we have a family, a sequence of epsilon such that here we have this surface sigma here will be the, the slice sigma epsilon k and here the mean curvature is negative. Okay? So denote by, by VK this product, VK will be this product, uh, and GK at the induced metric by the, the, the family. 
So the strategy, the, the, our strategy now is to prove that we can choose uh, epsilon k small enough uh, for, for epsilon k small enough. Uh, it's possible to deform this metric g k in a conformal way to get a, a, a new metric with constant scalar curvature equal to minus two. Uh, both, both boundary components are minimal with respect to this metric, and, and such that the, the, the area of this, this component uh, is strictly decreases, okay? Uh, here, uh, in, the, in the metric GK, the area is equal to 4 pi G minus one. So here we get area is strictly than, uh, less than four pi G minus one. Okay, uh, to do, to do the, 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 this fully, uh, this def conformal deformation, we use the, the, the solution of the Yamabe problem for uh, manifold with boundary, okay? Uh, let me recall this. Uh, uh, consider a compact, compact uh, manifold with boundary. Então, the Yamaha problem is the following problem. Uh, the, the following question. Is there a metric uh, uh, deal with the, the problem of finding uh, a metric G bar conformal to G such that the, the uh, initially you have a manifold with boundary with a metric G. So you, you can find, you, you would like to find a, met, a metric G bar with scalar curvature equal to a constant and the boundary minimal, okay? The, this problem was first studied by Escobar in 92, and this is equivalent to, a, to the existence of a positive function satisfying the following a, 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 a equation, okay? And in, 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 that, in, in a solution of this equation is just a critical point of this function. So uh, one, one way to, 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 to find a critical point is to look to the infimum of the, the function, okay? So the fact is the following. If the, 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 this, this is the, uh, it's the, the well, uh, call it uh, Yamab invariant of the problem, of the manifold. If this is invariant, is less than or equal to the invariant of the hemisphere, is always less than or equal to the, the invariant of the hemisphere, and if you have the, the strictly inequality, then there is a positive, a positive uh, uh, smooth minimizer for the functional. And the important, the important thing is that the, the, this function solves the problem and the the, 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 the constants, the, the, the scalar curvature will be equal to the constant with the same sign of the invariant. So in our case, we, we will prove that the, the invariant is negative, so the scalar curvature will be negative. Okay, so let me, let me continue. And also, we have to, to prove that our invariant, Yamab invariant of this means with this metric is negative for K is small enough, okay? How, so to prove this, we have to find, uh, uh, we have to find a uh, uh, test function so that, for example, this functional is negative, okay? Since the invariant is the infimum, you get the result. Uh, so, just choose the function equal to one. So, if you look to the the functional here, it, it, uh, will be zero. So here will be uh, one over eight integral of v k volume of v k. So. Uh, Nine integral of v k r v uh, minus uh, 
work for. So uh, the first component of our manifold is a minimal surface. So you, 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 you have just the, the another component. So you have uh, the component epsilon k sigma mean curvature of the k, the sigma k. OK? Uh, and the, this, this, this mean curvature is constant, so you have uh, the mean curvature times the area of sigma epsilon k. And now we know that the, the, the scalar curvature of the ambient space here over the, the, this surface is constant equal to minus 2. So you can estimate at choosing epsilon is small enough, you, you, you can suppose that here the, mean, the scalar curvature is equal to minus 2. So choosing epsilon is small enough, you can suppose that the scalar curvature is bounded above it by minus 1, by continuity. Okay? So this term is equal to uh, minus 1 over h volume of vk uh, minus 1 for mean curvature times epsilon k, OK? OK. So the, the important thing now uh, is that uh, the, this volume uh, is, uh, has this expansion epsilon k area of sigma order epsilon k uh, square. And here, this term has order epsilon k square, OK? Because the, 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 the mean curvature here is 0, and the, the first derivative in the normal direction uh, we, uh, is also equal to 0, OK? So since this constant is, neg is negative, choosing epsilon is small enough, uh, these terms will be dominate the, the, the other term. So you, you get uh, uh, this fact. Okay. After scaling, we can suppose that the the scalar curvature is equal to minus two. Uh, now, to 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 conclude that the area decreases, we have to use the 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 sign condition on the scalar curvature of the k and the mean curve of the, the other boundary and the maximum principle to get the, that this function is strictly less than, than one. So this implies that this area is strictly strict less than 4 pi g sigma minus one. Okay. Uh, so now, uh, so you, you, you have a conformal deformation of uh, we get the, uh, that metric over, over G, which decreases this component. So to get a, con a contradiction, you, we use the, the mix simon ex existing results to get uh, a, a minimal surface inside. So you, you, we, now you, we are considering VK with the map G bar, OK? This area is strictly less than 4 pi G minus 1. And this both boundary is our minimal surface. So you can get, the, you can apply the, the mixed simonial results to get a, a minimal surface inside VK of least area in the exotic class of sigma. Doing this, okay, we get this surface, uh, sigma bar, and so this area is less than or equal to the area of sigma, and this area is strictly less than for my g sigma minus one. And this is a contradiction because, because our uh, error estimation given, uh, given by the lower bound of the The, the scalar coverage, okay? So, uh, 
okay, então, this proves that the, the, along the, the CMC surface, uh, the area not, not increase, okay? Okay, so, okay, uh, here we have our surface, and along the CMC surface, the area is less than or equal to uh, the area of sigma, okay? So, uh, since we are supposing that the surface is, the, 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 is locally area minimizing, this area is, uh, is also greater than or equal to the area of sigma, okay? So, from this, we get uh, that infinitesimal rigidity over all slices of the family, okay? And this, we imply that this CMC foliation is just the isometry between a neighborhood of the, the, the manifold with the cylinder uh, of the interval times sigma, okay? So uh, that's the proof, okay. So let me, let me use uh, the second part of the talking to, to use the, this result to get, a, to get another rigid theorem of for manifold width boundary relating minimum surface and scalar curvature. Uh, let me give some motivation for this result. Uh, an interesting consequence of the positive mass theorem is that uh, there is no compact deformation of the Euclidean matrix. Okay? Uh, let me give you a picture. If you have here, if you have the Euclidean space and a compact set, so every matrix that coincides with the Euclidean matrix, uh, every matrix which coincides with the, the Euclidean metric outside this compact set and also has scalar curvature greater than or equal to zero has to be isometric to the Euclidean metric, okay? Uh, this, the, the, the analogy to the hyperbolic case was proved by Minu, and Miao observed that this result uh, implies the following uh, rigidity result for the unit ball. Euclidean ball, okay? We all prove that it is impossible to, 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 to increase the scalar curvature of the ball, increase the mean curvature, fixing, fixing the, the, the geometry of the boundary, okay? Uh, motivated by this result, uh, Minu uh, uh, propose the following conjecture, which is about it, which the the, uh, the similar results to the MCR, which says that uh, if he, the conjecture says that uh, if you have a metric with scalar curvature greater than n n minus one, uh, fixing the, the 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 geometry of the equator. And the, and, and the boundary is totally geodesic, then this metric will be isometric, isometric to the standard metric on the hemisphere. So this is true for n uh, and, and dimension two. True also for a stronger condition on the curvature, but it's false uh, in higher dimension. Uh, okay, so our, our, our next result is motivated by this question, and, and it's, uh, essentially it says that it implies that uh, it, if you consider uh, sigma a uh, hyperbolic, orientable hyperbolic surface in a compact cylinder, with the, here, we have a compact cylinder with a broad metric, okay? So this example uh, has 
uh, scalar curve to constant equal to minus two and both borders are, are minimal. So the result essentially says that it's impossible to increase the, the scalar curvature of this cylinder, uh, increase the mean curvature fixing the geometry of the boundary. Okay? So the, the statement is, is a little more general. Uh, if you have a compact connect a radius spoke, three manifold with boundaries satisfying that the scalar curvature is greater than or equal to minus two, the, the mean curvature of the boundary is greater than or equal to zero, is no negative. Some component of the, the boundary is isometric to the hyperbolic surface. So uh, moreover, if the, 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 this compact manifold does not contain one-sided embedded compact surface, then the main, uh, uh, this manifold has to be isometric to a sin compact cylinder. Okay. So let me let me explain the, the, the proof. Uh, the first step, the first step is is to prove that. Let me uh, give you a picture. So initially, your manifold has can can be some uh, many uh, boundary component, but you you have one component of the boundary uh, isometric to that hyperbolic surface. Uh, so if, uh, let, me, let me denote this component by, by sigma bar. And so our goal is to prove that, that this, this surface is isometric to sigma. It's, just, uh, it's to prove that this component uh, minimizes area in its isotope class, okay? Uh, how, how to do this, no? The first step is, is, is okay, uh, uh, this is a hyperbolic surface, so uh, it has area like uh, four pi g, g, g minus one. Uh, now we use the existence result, mix time our existence result to, 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 to get a uh, a surface a sigma hat of least area in its isotope class. Okay. Using the, our area estimate, uh, we get this surface has the area uh, greater than or, or equal to four pi uh, g minus one, one. So uh, we get the quality between this area and this area. Okay. Uh, so the, the idea is very simple. It's because here we begin with the maximum, uh, the, the maximum possible value for the, the area of a, of a hypersurface which minimizes area uh, in a manifold with a scalar curve to greater than or equal to minus two. So the, the, uh, uh, if, you have, if you look for the surface inside uh, of least area, uh, in this is a top class, and we begin with the maximum area. This surface will be the minimizer. Okay. Okay. So the, this surface is a minimizer. So the, the local splitting implies that our our manifold in a neighborhood of this component is is a cylinder. Okay. So you will continue this process, okay? We, we go uh, as long as we have this isometry, okay? Uh, so two, two things uh, uh, can be happen. The, the first is we get that we achieve the another component of the boundary. and get the isometry, okay? And another thing which will happen uh, is the existence of one-sided compact minimal surface, okay? So uh, by hypothesis, uh, the second uh, uh, case does not happen. Okay, so the, the, the ambient space has to be isometric to a, to a, a, a cylinder, okay? 
Uh, okay, I, I will reserve that. Okay.